Okay. My flat smells of vinegar now. Because I'm descaling the kettle. Okay. I'm ready to begin. Uh, the... Okay. Oops. Um, right. <laughs> I'm just going to keep going. Uh, right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Mm. And hopefully that will get my brain going. So I'm going to create this unified control that will handle all types of project browser list items. And I might regret doing this. Browser. Uh, I'm gonna. Have to, I'm just gonna have to go for it. And uh, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I think this makes sense. Okay. Item control. So at the moment, I have. Sample browser item control, which looks like this. Block browser item control, which I think looks, yeah, it looks exactly the same. Uh, but it's like a coincidence at the moment that the sample, the item, the list items that appear in the sample browser and the list items that appear in the block browser happen to be very similar at the moment. Um, so similar that the the scene tree is put exactly the same. Um, <clears throat> which didn't used to be the case, um, but they've just sort of converged on having the same functionality now. Um, okay. Yeah, this makes sense. All right. So... Okay, project browser <coughs> item control. And I, I think the mouse filter needs to be passed, yeah. Pass. And then let's just merge from. Why is there no like search? Is there a search? Whatever. All right, let's copy all this. Now let me think about this. Let me think about this. So the MIDI lock button, obviously. So I'm just thinking, 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 thinking. Okay, I'm just going to keep it like this. So for the, in the export dialog, obviously the MIDI lock button would be invisible. There's actually no reason for it to be invisible. 
You might as well just keep it. As weird as that is. Uh, right, I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to follow my nose for a bit and then uh, when the problems arise, I'll deal with... I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I think there will be bridges to cross <laughs> when I get to the bridges. Um Which is not how the saying goes. Right. Am I even recording? Yes, I'm recording. Okay. Uh, all right. So this is going to be deleted. This is going to be deleted. The file browser open control is different enough. I mean, it's completely different. That uh, I don't want to roll that into here. So... This is good, this is good. Okie dokie. And I want to unify the one shot visual stuff because that's pretty much copy and pasted as well, uh, wherever it is. Um, yeah, good stuff. Maybe I should do that first. Okay, let's do that first, right. Um, because it's going to have to happen anyway. Uh, right. <clears throat> so what I'm talking about there is... Uh, it's going to rerun CMake because... No, it's not. Oh, I didn't add it yet. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm starting to understand what the hell I'm doing now. I think it's because I've had three coffees now. Just finishing my third. So, <clears throat> the sample browser and the block browser, on both you, you have these preview buttons. Uh, so the one-shot visual stuff is this shading effect that uh, is happening here, this animation. Um, and so the same code for producing that effect is basically copy and paste it between the block browser and the sample browser. Uh, so instead of copy and pasting it, so okay, so for example in the block browser code I have this block one shot visual which has the block ID and this uh, this one shot visual thing which produces the visual effect. Um, and then this, in the sample browser I have the same thing pretty much, sample ID. So... Let's... Let's just think what... what One shot visuals, one shot to sample, one shot visual. I really don't want to do, I don't want to, um, there's a difference in type here. I have a sample ID here and I have a block ID here. I don't really want to use templates to solve this. Uh, but maybe that's... That's... Uh, that's the way it has to be. Well, it's not going to be that much code, actually. Okay. Let's create... Something... 
Where's this one-shot visual thing? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> one-shot visual, okay. Let's just put a thing in here. What should this be? I'm just trying, um, the main hold up here is thinking of names for things. One shot visual. One shot visual. S? <laughs> Watch your visuals? Uh, visual. All right, it's going to be something like template. Item ID visual Take this and put it in here. So one shot ID to the to the visual. Uh, I have a real naming problem here, but anyway, one shot visual. Z T bucket E. Do that, take this, stick it in here. Let's just put some code in here for dealing with that stuff. <coughs> so all of this stuff is basically common between the block browser and the sample browser at the moment. Yeah, this thing as well, I think. So take all that, stick it in here. Unfortunately, all of these become templates now. So I think is this a better way of what is the 
ID even used for? Block ID. Forgetting the visible control. Right. Get visible control, I see. <clears throat> I'm just trying to think of this at a higher level for a second. What is it that I actually want to do here? <sighs> this much is fine. Okay, yeah, I can just set up some callbacks. Um, but then I, st I would still need the item ID. Hmm, I don't know. <coughs> All right, I'll, I'll keep it as a template and just say uh, uh ba, 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 auto, um, yeah, Copilot knows what I'm up to. Copilot knows exactly what I'm up to there. The word, the, uh, I use the name CB sometimes as a shorthand for callback or callbacks. Uh, right. Yep. 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 So all of these are going to need this preamble now at the front. It looks like a really nice day outside. I'm glad I'm in here. Should be visuals. <clears throat> no, this should be. Like that. Ah. 
I need to also set the parent when I set this up. Okay. Chart. This thing. People. This one shot visual over item. Visual control. Yep. Yes. Okay. Shot ID, release one shot visual. Okay. Now get visible control. Now have my cool back CB get visible control like that item ID. Okay. 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 So that should work for both the sample browser and the block browser. Also, I need to remove the word static, obviously. the problem here. So it's just Visual Studio being... Whoa! <laughs> Great work, Microsoft. <coughs> okay, right, let's try it out in here. So we have this already. So add one shot visual. And now go like this. I can move this in here as well. Mm. 
review visuals. This is review as in not review, but review as in re view again. Uh, it's just something that it runs when um, when the list uh, view changes, for example, when you scroll up and down. Um, right. <coughs> View visuals like that. I just need that, right? Yeah, this is all making sense, I think. Shouldn't that be by reference? I guess it doesn't matter, huh? Because it's just a... Uh... Yeah, it doesn't actually matter, but whatever. Okay. Uh, yep, 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 yep. I love UI programming, <sighs> which is 90% of what audio programming is, it turns out. Most, most of audio programming has nothing to do with audio. Uh, so, import V, oh, one shot visuals, okay. Just. <coughs> On one short progress. Ah. So I should also move this in. Okay, I should actually just take these and put them in here. Okay, whatever. Uh, <coughs> so this should be one visuals. Like that. Cool, so I successfully moved a bunch of code out of here and now I can do the same thing for Sample Browser. So we one shot visuals but with a sample ID instead. So I can get rid of this, get rid of this and this. Oh, obviously I need to set up the cool back and everything. Uh, I have to go to the toilet.
So in here, I'm going to say um, Control Visuals Parent Control is the the thing. More or less folder above folders. What does that return? A canvas item. Oh. That's fine. So we got that. And then once your visuals call back, get visual of the other visible control. Um, I think I would prefer to explicitly capture that. Yeah, for like that. Get visible control equal block ID. Uh, obviously, I can't do that because um, a lambda that captures can't convert to a uh, a C style function pointer like that. So I could either change it to a standard function or what's the problem now? Turn go to control. So just complaining about this. Uh, no, but uh, yeah, I can just go block browser. I uh, get a visible control like that. But it's still complaining about this. Why? Do I have to do that trick? I don't think that's right. Um, I don't know why this lambda doesn't, doesn't bind to this function pointer, let's have a look. What browser item control? <clears throat> oh, yeah, right, that makes sense, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Not a problem. Right. Easy peasy. Let's go set up one shot visuals. Set up one shot visuals, yeah. Right now we do the same thing for the sample browser. So now I get to delete all of this stuff because it's all just the same. Which is very satisfying. And now
Oh, I see. Yep, 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 okay. So, uh, visuals. And this stuff I can delete also, and then go down to here. This will be like this. Visual undeclared identifier. You telling me I need this? I don't think that's a dependent type, is it? Oh. Yes, it is. Uh, okay. Oh, here it actually told me it was a dependent name. Okay. Place of one short visual over item. So visual error type. This is a dependent name. <clears throat> and now, new matching overload function. Place one shot visual over item. What's the problem? Oh, you need the template argument, right? Fair enough. Is that always going to be the case? No, just for this one, because it can't deduce it. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, let's just check if that's still all working. I need to fix that, there's a problem there. First of all, if you click once on this bar, it's supposed to contract it. I've broken that at some point, I think. Don't know what's going on. Uh, okay. So does this work? No, this is broken. Okay. Because the callback is not set. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot to set the... I need to do this for the sample browser as well. Sample browser here.
Okay. Let me just check. Okay. It's working fine. I guess I could actually... Oh, let me just check the box as well. Um, I could actually use a different parent for the visuals so that they appear below the folders instead. That's... Um... Oops, that was the wrong thing. Stop. <clears throat> I would need this. I have another canvas item, I think. Can above items. that instead. I think it will look more correct. Now if I scroll a little bit, yeah, now it appears a bit behind the folder things. Okay, uh, let's commit all that. Um, in fact, a one shot visuals. Okie dokie. Uh, now, what was I doing before that? Oh yeah, I was about to do Project Browser Item Control. that and and that Okay, so this control and this control is going to be deleted eventually. going to use this one.
So it's basically going to be this. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to need some kind of I'm going to need this thing. Project item ID. Okay, so let's move this into here. Let's just put it here. Project item ID. Um, then we're putting variant into this header, which I don't really want to do. So I'm going to create another file, a file for it. <laughs> Project item ID. for in here. Oh, what the hell? Okay, it's basically going to be this. So this set uh, item instead. Project item ID. Um yeah. Oh I'm in the wrong fucking file. Whoops. Am I? No. Okay. Let me just think. A second. Configure the MIDI button. Does what?
set up the customization point for this. Or was this just a um Gonna keep going and see where everything breaks down. So just keep copy and paste in. Make MIDI lock button listener. Make MIDI look button listener. Yep, 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 yep. Um, <coughs> gotta do pimple again just to make things easier here. Essentially, what I'm going to do here is uh, this kind of thing. I'm going to do something like virtual auto on on MIDI lock button click. Don't need to pass the idea. And then I'd need some other stuff. So Yeah, this will be fine. Okay, I think this is I think I understand what I'm doing. All right. But uh blah, 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 blah. Project Browser Item Control PVIC. I'm going to use a, an abbreviation.
that'll be handled by the project browser or whatever type of browser it is. Really look button. Okay. Uh, yes. <coughs> Okay, I have a lot of stuff to get through here. Let's get on with it. Yeah, okay, that will be more callbacks. So on preview button, what if it's clicked? Get rid of these. What is this? this thing and what else set up preview button like this
<clears throat> oh yeah, I need this thing as well. Can MIDI lock to be in here? Can MIDI lock? Does that make sense? That makes sense. Can maybe the lock does what? It's just this, okay. Just pass it in as a boolean instead. Okay. So I think I need this thing. Is a MIDI lock target. Okay.
Uh, let's just do it like this sample ID get if excuse me item That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Not a problem. Theme. Theme. Is Harvard. Layouts. Now, why do we need this? Oh, I get browser away from okay. What does that return? A waveform. Include this. Get waveform like this. Is this okay? I think so. <laughs> I think this used to be more complicated, that's why it's in a, a, a lambda, um, it must have been. So, let's get away from, so console to show waveform equals. How do I do this? Yeah. And now I need this thing.
Okay. Great. So this I don't need anymore. Get text. I'm not even sure why I need that. Why do I need this get text? It looks like I don't. What about this one? Let's get rid of that then, if I don't need it. Ah, uh, yeah, on Harvard, on on Harvard. That stuff I don't need a listener. I can move it into. Here, for example. Hovered right here. So instead of doing it in here, if hovered, and then I have to include item hovering. Now how do I get the block ID? ID equals no, that's not right. <laughs> There's no get block. Uh, come on, copilot, help me out here. How do I get the block ID from a control index? Maybe that's not even possible. <gasps> it's not possible. Shit. It must be possible, isn't it? Hold on. I'm doing it here. Ah, oh, but I pass in the item index here. Um, can I get it from the list? I can get, hold on, item index. Yeah, I can get it from the list. No, I can't. What, what can I get? Get. That's not it. I mean, I could just put it in a map, but it's a bit... Oh, 
Why would I need to do that? Alright, fine. Um, nice and control. No, that's not good enough. No, that's not going to make sense. No, 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 no. Okay. Because these item control indexes, indices are referring to persistent item controls which could be attached to different items during the course of their lifespan. So that's why there's no map. That's why there's no way to get a block ID from a con control index. Because it wouldn't make sense. Okay. Alright, fine, fine, fine. Okay, so... On hovered and on on hovered. That means I'm going to have to create a listener every time I attach. I'm going to have to create a new listener, I mean. Which is okay. So I pass the listener in here instead and get rid of this. Now this looks like this.
yeah, I need a get name or get text, I guess it should be. Just remind me what this does. Yes, okay. Fine. So that is a generic list item that should work for everything as long as I implement this interface properly. There's nothing else that the sample item does. Okay. Okay, uh, right. Let's try it then. Hold on, let's just check its building. Oh shit, I've been going for an hour and a half. Okay, this is the end of video and then I'll start recording again.